Yes, ma'am. Thank you, General. Uh, first, on uh, Iran, after today's attack and the expected response from uh, Israel, uh, is the assessment at the Pentagon still that the situation in the Middle East still under control uh, and we're not in all-out war yet? And the second question on uh, Lebanon, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what's your understanding to what Israel is calling limited ground operations or incursion? Um, is it limited by, like, in time, in scope? How do you see this? Sure. Um, so in terms of your first question, uh, as you know, we've been working very hard from the beginning uh, to prevent a wider regional conflict. Certainly the, the type of aggressive action that we saw by Iran today uh, makes that more challenging. Um, but that continues to remain our focus and remain our goal is to prevent a wider regional conflict. And so we'll continue to stay uh, laser focused on that. Um, in terms of Israel's operations, again, uh, they're in the best position to, to answer questions, but our understanding uh, in consulting with them is that, again, these will be uh, limited operations focused uh, on dismantling uh, facilities that Hezbollah has built along the border to stage attacks into Israel. Uh, and so, you know, part of those discussions, again, have been focused on um, you know, making sure that um, there's an understanding as far as um, uh, potential mission creep. Um, and so uh, as it relates to the, the broader tensions in the region, uh, but again, we support their right to defend themselves from Hezbollah attacks. Uh, and so we'll, we'll continue to consult with them on that. As I mentioned, Wafa, ultimately, uh, we do believe that a diplomatic resolution is the only way to uh, achieve lasting stability and security there. Tim, a few more. 